Hello there guys, welcome back to Eunice Talks Football, welcome back to a brand new video, I hope all of you are doing well today, I mean what a great week we've had so far, great not just week but our, our football as of late has been unbelievable at Chelsea Football Club, we are looking exemplary, unreal in terms of form, results, the way we're playing, the confidence, the, the boost, everything, the atmosphere, whatever you want, it's there and then we get a little bit of a sour taste and it's to do with Ben Chilwell. Now I uploaded a video yesterday and then five minutes later after that upload I hear the news on Ben Chilwell and I'm like okay you know what I'll have to address this tomorrow and hopefully we'll get a little bit of an update. So for those that are unaware Ben Chilwell came off against Juventus didn't look too serious at the time because he wasn't stretched off. He managed to walk off. So that was encouraging. Although he was holding the two physios literally over their shoulders. But he, he walked off and I thought, that's, that's alright. You know, it could have been a lot worse. Turns out the damage is already done. Now how bad is this damage? We don't actually know. But now we actually are aware that the injury he's picked up, unfortunately, is an ACL injury. And it's, uh, we'll get, we'll, we'll analyze it all and, you know, talk about our feelings after I show you exactly what's going on. Let's get the update from Matt Law, who gave us um, the, the news in terms of just how bad this is. Check this out. So, Ben Chilwell set to miss at least the rest of the year with suspected ACL damage. Chelsea prepared to delay a final decision on whether he can play again this season until the new year. Stories and details are here. You go on to the actual article on the Telegraph and it's there to read from Matt Law. Um, so th the rumours and what I saw in people's comments yesterday, everyone was saying, Eunice, Eunice, Ben Chilwell, he's out for the season. He's out for the season. Oh my God, he's out for the season. And I'm like, no, 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 no. He's out for the year, right? Now it just depends how bad is his injury. If it's bad... Actually, let me switch that. If it's not bad, if it's something he can recover from without any intervention, he'll be back in January, which is fine. It could have been a lot worse if, if that's the case, right? If he does just, you know, recover and he doesn't need any more time off, his ACL damage literally disappears. He, he, he comes back. It will take him until January. Now, if he needs surgery, this is the kicker. If he needs surgery to repair this ACL injury, then he's out for the season. And that is why Chelsea are prepared to wait until the end of the year to fully analyse, give him the time to recover. At the end of the year, if they see that he is on the road to recovery and his ACL is repairing, no surgery is needed, he'll be back in January. If at the end of the year, they look at this and they go, you're going to need surgery to repair this, then he's out for the whole season. And this one stings because Chilwell has been playing unbelievable. Unbelievable, man. When, when we had Marcos Alonso, I remember telling a lot of you saying, Alonso is in great form. I feel sorry for Chilwell. He's on the bench, but we can't drop Alonso. He's just playing unbelievable. He's undroppable right now. And rightfully so at the time he was. So there was that. Then... Alonso managed to dip a little bit. Chilwell was offered a way back in, offered an opportunity. He took it. And my goodness, despite a couple of games where he looked a little bit basic, right? A little bit average. After that, he hit a new stratosphere in terms of his ability and in terms of his form. Right now, he is in the form of his life. We're seeing goals from him, just like Reese James. We're seeing assists from him, just like Reese James. We don't have just one deadly side, we've got two deadly sides. And Chilwell has been instrumental, not only just in terms of his own individual performances, but the way that he's bonding with some of the other players, like a Callum hudson Doy, who has been unlocked by having Chilwell alongside him, behind him, in front on the overlap, where hudson Doy is able to come inside and literally do what he does best and what he feels more comfortable with. Um, dragging the ball, taking on defenders, being able to get himself into the box where he doesn't have to worry about that left-hand side because Chilwell is there. And vice versa, Chilwell comes in and hudson Doy just has a nice chemistry. We can't really say the same when it comes to hudson Doy and Marcos Alonso. And right now, hudson Doy is in the form of his life too. We're getting loads of players that are just on absolute 
chronic form, right? Chilwell now getting this injury has come at the worst time. It's come at the worst time. So this is where I'm just looking at this going, look, I hope, I hope he's back by January. If he literally just spends five or six weeks out, I will take that right now. Right now, I will take that because let's have it right. We've got Marcos Alonso. He will fill in. I am confident that he will do a job. And I'll come to Marcos Alonso in a bit. But if we can just, you know, keep the, keep the ship steady and then when Chilwell comes back in, it'll be all right. Cool. But if we have to, you know, not have Chilwell for the remainder of the season, that one is going to, that one is going to hurt. That one's definitely going to hurt. Um... And I feel sorry for him. I really feel sorry for him. As I've said, he's in the form of his life. Um, he's just so, so unlucky. So, so unlucky. It's like if this happened to Reese James. Could you imagine? You know, both of them have been just absolute class. Not just in terms of defending and, and the way that Thomas Tuchel wants them to play, but their offensive contributions, their goal contributions, the way that they get themselves forward, the way that they cross the ball, the way everything that they've both done, Chilwell and Reese James, has just been perfect. It's been 10 out of 10. So, it is what it is. Now, Chilwell is going to be out. So, the next guy to go to is Marcos Alonso. I hear a lot of doubt amongst the Chelsea fan base, which kind of surprises me. You know, it's okay to be a bit sceptical, a little bit concerned. But I'm literally seeing people writing off Marcos Alonso. Going, no, no, Alonso, no, we're, we're, we're screwed. Alonso's going to come in, we're, we're, we're ruined. He's not going to do anything. And I'm like, do you have short memories or something? As I've just mentioned a couple of minutes ago, Alonso at the start of the season was undroppable. Do you remember that? If he can just play like that, we'll be okay. We'll be okay. Now, there's the little finer details, like, as I've already said, Alonso's chemistry of hudson Doy. It's not quite there. We've seen it in the past. They just don't click. Now, that's up to Thomas Tuchel. Can Thomas Tuchel actually get Alonso going with hudson Doy? If there's one manager in the world that I would trust right now, it's Thomas Tuchel. So look, we have all the tools that we need right now. Alonso, we know, is someone that is able to get forward, contribute to goals, get assists, cause mayhem in and around the box. The only concern that I have is his ability to come back in time, defend when required, and not necessarily just defend because we know he can defend and we know he can play as a left wing back very, very effectively. That is Marcos Alonso. He is a left wing back. He's not even a left back. He's a left wing back. That is him in a nutshell. So he'll definitely come in and be all right. But when you need someone quick, you see the way that Chilwell is so fast in being able to adapt to transition from attack to defence, literally, boom, belts himself backwards and he's right there next to Antonio Rudiger. I'm not sure we can say the same for Marcos Alonso. And this kind of this is where I get a little bit uh, sceptical in terms of how are we going to compensate for that at, at times. There's going to be games where Alonso is going to have to deal with someone who's just faster than him. So how are we going to compensate? Is it going to have to be Jorginho that tucks a little bit to the left, but then he leaves a little bit of space open in midfield? Is Kante going to be the one to try and compensate that space that Jorginho leaves open? Eventually, it's going to have a bit of a domino effect. Does Rudiger have to play double duty and really be the, the not only the, the centre-back, but have to kind of act as a left-back at times to compensate for Alonso if he's not back in time? Those are little things that we don't need to worry about when it comes to Ben Chilwell, because Ben Chilwell's fast, he's got pace. Marcos Alonso is slower, although the beautiful thing about Marcos Alonso is that if he goes forward, chances are he will score. <laughs> he will score. He can shoot, he can assist, he gets stuck in, he cuts inside all the time, and he loves doing that. That I trust him with. But if we lose the ball after a missed opportunity in, in attack and Marcos Alonso's in the box and they launch one ball outwards to someone who's on the right-hand side, and we've got Marcos Alonso, who's already been caught out and is running back, I'd put money on Chilwell to make it compared to Alonso. And that is the only area where I'm concerned. If Marcos Alonso has been training really well and has kind of sorted that part of his game and Thomas Tuchel's able to get him going in that, in that aspect, then we've got nothing to worry about. Literally nothing to worry about. So let's wait and see what happens. It's going to be starting against Manchester United on the weekend. Marcos Alonso at left wing back. Let's see how he does. And the preview to that will be coming on Saturday. So make sure you guys have your eyes peeled. Manchester United at home at Stamford Bridge. The match preview Chelsea United will be on Saturday. It's going to be one hell of a preview. Michael Carrick at the wheel. 
Yeah. Don't know if that wheel is still around. Does the bus crash? I don't know, but anyway, <laughs> Michael Carey kept the wheel. Are we going to expect a different Man United? Are we going to expect a similar Man United? Is it still going to be the same? Are they going to do anything different? Are we expected to destroy them? Are we not because Oli's gone? I'm going to analyze all of that on Saturday for you guys. So make sure you keep your eyes peeled. But there we are. Thank you all so much for watching. Get well soon, Ben Chill. Well, we're all with you, mate. Um, and I hope you come back ASAP. Hopefully, start of Jan, you're ready to go again, man. Fingers crossed. Anyway, Marcos Alonso, it's time to back him. Let's see what he can do. Thank you all so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you are new. Hit that notification bell to be notified once I've uploaded. Smash the like button if you've enjoyed this. And I will see all of you for the match preview on Saturday. Have a good one. Look after yourself. See you in a bit. Take care. And peace.